We are now going to ask right now a preacher, Papi. Juste moi, Just a few words coming from preacher, Papi. Parce que sous sa humanité, ici, lui, je vais être en France, ici, lui, l'humanité, ici, lui, naissance. Donc, la femme a sa source, il y a tout. A woman is a source of everything. She holds. Every single thing within those two senses is in the hands. Alors, pour tout, pour la neo, and to open up the seal, y a si la key, or to open up the key that's opening up the subject that why are you here today, Alors, the words won't be shared or it's going to be explained by our preacher that you see here. Et après ça, and after that, then we will be able to end or conclude the conversation of a man and a day. Amen. Merci Thank you. Amen. Family, with the great joy, we have worked out all our difficulties. And I believe that with everyone among us, you were called to attend to this particular event, whereby the biggest question that we are trying to answer. It's all about the conversation that took place between God, the Creator, and the woman in the garden. The world has taught us that 
Wir sollen uns eins verwundern, eins verwundern. Dann schau uns die Introduction hier an uns zu. Wo ist die Wundern? Wo ist sie gekommen? Und was für ein Wort sie gekommen? So dass wir die Ebene zu diskutieren und zu erkennen, was Gott uns für uns hat. Es ist gut, dass ich hier bin. Für die Leute, die mich nicht kennen, ich bin ein Preacher von Kiel, Kabul. Und um zusammen mit Sarah, wir haben eine Bibel für uns gemacht. 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 You have seen our kids as their left hand in the mouth, stating that we are powerless and we do not have a say while there are guns pointed on us. What does it mean? We are living in a corrupted humanity, whereby whatever you call moral degeneration has taken place. And when we look at all the conflict, what is the source, the source of all of it? Why God wanted us to be united and live together? So there is a brother who's going to relate to that and tell us a bit about our humanity and all the things that we are facing so that we can find the solution. And from there we are going to look at our youth. Yo, what type of youth that we have nowadays? I believe, you know, when I was growing up, there is a set of rules and norms that I was taught so that I will be able to respect my elders. But what we see nowadays is quite scary. And from the youth, there will be a youngster one who is going to present the fact about the toddlers. And I believe that with the young, very young one, we have also issues that need to be said openly. But at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is that everything starts from our household. Whereby we find we have mothers who look mothers because they are clothed as women, but the truth of the matter, they are more than that. So, what are the conflicts that we are finding within a couple? And how to sort out all these issues. So there are our mothers who are going to come here and they are going to tell us a bit about all the challenges that they are facing in order to find solutions. In my childhood, I was told that there are different stages, different places whereby you need to get your education. The first education goes from your home. But you know what our home has been, you know, nowadays. So the second place whereby a child can be educated is within the schooling environment at all levels. And we are quite sure that those places have failed. So the only place that someone can have the first education is within the church. So that's the reason. Based on our today's topic, we are talking about the woman, but that woman will be represented by the church. And then, we are going to talk about the church in our society. A musician said, by saying, I've been looking for the world, and I find it in the church. And when I went to the church, I find the world. Now, there are still questions more that need to find answers. But the truth here is that based on the information we are going to get, in other words, this preaching, the sermon that will be delivered to us, this will give us more, more of the, the information that we were not aware of so that our society can come back to normal. Without any further delay, I will call on the stage our beloved brother Andy, Who's going to tell us a bit about humanity? Nina, I will just keep quiet, and I believe he has more information on that aspect. Brother, yeah, the stage is yours. Uh, Bishop, I should give you your glasses. Sorry, Bishop. 
Amen, family. Amen, family. Amen, family. I'm quite nervous, um, even though I usually stand here with sorry. Um, bear with me, because, yeah, I don't know why, but I'm a little bit nervous today. Hmm. Switch this way. All right. Um, first and foremost, good afternoon to each and every one of you. Thank you very much for taking time out in order to um, spend some time with us. Something that is very important. We felt that it's imperative that we share what we have today with you in order to help build a brick for the future. Okay. So, with that being said, as the preacher um, said like two, three times, I'm here to speak or touch on humanity and how important humanity is um, for the other speakers that are coming after me. The little youth there, which is our foundation, and our other youth, which is the house, because I feel as though we are building homes. So in us building a home, building a structure, we need a good foundation, we need a good body, and then basically a roof. So I'm just here to be sort of like the cement or the extra bricks that we need in order for us to build this beautiful home. Okay, so sure. Okay, so it says here that humanity is a vibrant mosaic of cultures, languages, traditions, and beliefs. And uh, in the beautiful world that we live in, we have different languages. We come from different belief systems, from different cultures, from different homes. We are taught different things, and that is the beautiful part of humanity. And what makes humanity even more beautiful is that, you know, I can learn from you, even though I am, I speak a different language to you. Or I can learn something from your culture that can help me live in society. So it is very important that we, um, as a society, in as much as we have so many differences amongst us, the languages that we speak, uh, the cultural practices that we do, uh, our beliefs, it's very important that we have one thing, which is humility. And that humility will give birth to two things. One is understanding, and because I understand where you come from, I understand uh, why you believe what you believe in, why you do what you do, I don't have to judge you. Therefore, we can live in harmony. Do we understand? Do we understand? What should I say in Lika? It's English too much. Sorry guys. Sorry. Right. <laughs> so it's very important for us to give birth to understanding each other. In order for us to understand each other, we need to listen. And as much as we speak, we need to listen. Because that's the only way that we can understand where another person comes from. So it's very important as mothers, as fathers, we could already grow this understanding from our younger people to our youth, and then eventually they grow up to be adults and people and members of society. Okay. It is, it is true that in the world that we live in, we, have, we are faced with a lot of problems. Um, before the church service, Occurred, we saw the footage of everything that's happening in and around the world. Um, the DRC, Sudan, Gaza, Israel. Um, it, it, it's, 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 it's there. It's, we can see it. It's happening. Families are being destroyed. Children are being left behind. Parents, uh, sorry, parents with no children. It, 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 it's, it's really bad. But in everything that we are facing, it's environmental, social, economical or um, political, it is imperative that we need to put aside our beliefs, put aside our cultural differences, and again, understand. We just need to understand that we have one common thing, and that common thing is we're all human beings. Despite me speaking a language, and you speaking another language, it doesn't change the fact that I have blood in my veins, you have blood in yours. We cut each other, we put our blood on the floor, it's going to be red. Yes, there's stuff like DNA, and we come from 
this family, that family, but at the end of the day, we are human beings. And in order for us to sort of grow beyond all the things that we're currently facing, we need to understand that above anything else, we are humans. We are human beings. And something that is very important. Again, I'm going to go bring reference back to the younger ones and the ones that are still upcoming. Parents, it's very important. Very, very important that you instill in your children that before anything else, we are human beings. And how do you actually have that? Empathy. Sympathy. Your pain is my pain. In as much as, yes, I'm not healing it as much as you are, but I understand what you could potentially be going through, and I wouldn't want you feeling anything worse. Do we understand? Do we understand, mothers? Do we understand, fathers? Okay. I'm going to reach that. I'm going to reach that soon. Please just bear with me. So compassion and empathy are the pillars to, to us being more humane, to be more human. So again, it is very, very, very important that we as people, excuse me, it is very important that we as people share our stories and listen to the other person's stories, listen to where they come from, what they had to go through, in order for you to not feel you know, not, you're not sympathetic enough to a person. You're not able to help the person just because they look a particular way. No, maybe they look that way because of a reason. And in, in most instances, they are that way and it's beyond them. They did not ask for it, but they found themselves in situations whereby they are in that position. So it's very imperative, rather important for us to understand, to listen to that, to that story, to understand that story and then to sympathize or empathize with them in order for us to make that person's life better. Because maybe you might be going through something, someone will listen to your story, and they can sympathize with you and uplift or better your life. Amen, family. Do we understand? Yes. There we go. And again, I'm going to touch on our foundation and our, our wall. Because we are building a house. It is very important to teach the kids empathy and compassion. It starts from, from school. Another child hurts themselves, they should be the first one to go and help and make sure that child is not under distress. They go to primary school, high school, they see another child is lacking, they don't have a pencil, they don't have a pen. Those little things are the bricks that I spoke about in the beginning that build a very strong house. And it all starts where? At home. With you. Mothers with you, especially with you. With you, it said, with you. Okay. So, with that being said, family, please allow me to conclude. Allow me to conclude by saying, or rather highlighting again, the importance of us recognizing, recognizing these two, these two pillars, which is compassion and empathy, because those are the two things that are going to help. Those are our cement and our bricks that will help us lay the foundation for better humans in society. And yeah, I think that's the conclusion of my uh, speech. It's been great. I'm very nervous. Everyone's just looking at me. Um, but thank you very much for nodding as I was speaking. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have an amazing afternoon. So thank you very much. <laughs> Amen, family. If my TV presenter is quite nervous, understand this is a serious issue. Without any further delay, here on the stage, I will call my beloved family, who's going to address all the issue, issues related to our youth with regard to our today's discussion. Brothers Gandhi, you are here. 
I went to my high school, and to be honest with you, I never even thought about Masters and stuff. I just had this idea of like, I want to go to Masters because I thought that's what everybody does. I didn't know what I wanted to start with, and I was just talking. So when everybody said, I want to apply for this and that, I was just there, I was just like, okay, I'm going to apply, but I'm not really sure what I want to do. So when I matriculated, very long time ago, um, I literally, the, the first year I, I, I attended the church, and I didn't pass the way I wanted to. And I went to all these universities. So back then, we didn't have online registration like you guys now. So we'd actually go to the university to actually check if they accepted the results or not. And I remember I went to Brits, and they just told us, like, if your EPS is below a certain point, just go home. And then, like, three quarters of that line just disappeared. And then I had three, I was like, you know what? No, I have a this. I waited and I got to the front line, and they told me, unfortunately, for the first two, I applied for your answer semester. I was so crushed, I was just thinking, okay, now what am I going to do with myself? And I just took my phone myself, I'm like, you know what? Let me go and figure out the machine. So, I went the following year, I went back to the school, and I told them, okay, this is what happened. And lucky for me, they accepted me to, to go back to my high school. So I saw my pride, and you know, what means that was like me repeating again and again and again. So that year, I did what I did. I had to do, and yeah, I, I passed well enough. I'm not going to say my boss. I don't want to put anybody under pressure, but I passed well enough. And the following year, one of the, the, the social challenges that I spoke about in the school was that. As you be meet specific challenges, and now I never had funding to actually get into master. So the, it was really to basically sit at home and not do anything. So I decided, like, you know what, let me go look for a job. So I went to the community for like a year and six months. And while I was doing that, I was just sleeping with my mind again and again. I didn't have that idea of what I want to study. I just had an idea of, okay, yes, I want to study, but then what do I want to study? What is the nature of what I can do? So I applied for random courses, I was applying for anything and everything. And when I did get my acceptance letter, uh, I can't remember, it was a while back, I got my acceptance letter, and it wasn't for something that I, I applied for. So I got accepted for accounting, and I never even did accounting in high school. So I was a little bit anxious, but I, I took it, I was like, okay, I've been accepted, it's fine, so let me just move on. I started my first year, and obviously the first two weeks was a bit of a struggle. You know, to, 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 um, get, uh, to adjust to, to the environment. And something that you also encourage the younger ones that are going into uh, varsity or that are maybe in high school and planning on going to varsity, meet with somebody that can get you, that can give you your specific information and help you guide you as well. So I did my diploma in the years I finished that. Again, like the social challenges in which most people, the students, it's usually funding. But in that case, I, I guess I had the basic funding. I was able to do lessons and things of that nature. So I don't want to go to my studies quite uh, seriously. So I did my uh, undergrad in 2020. Yeah. I did my, that's what I did my undergrad. And then 2021, I did my postgrad. And now I'm actually doing my, my master's. I'm finishing my master's this year. And that's just a testament to show that even though I stayed in this environment where it's not necessarily conducive to study, so I didn't have examples of people that are doing their masters or doing their degree, but through all those social challenges, I was able to do that. So just to encourage everyone else, you know, think ahead, think of your future. You know, I'm going to quote my mom, and she says, you know, in spite of me, she says, uh, you must know who you are as a person, first of all, and then know what you want, and then ask if you must do the right thing. So with that, I'd like to conclude and say thank you. Amen, family. Wow, what a long and nice speech. But you can understand from the young man. Is truly a university lecturer who was talking freely, even though he was under, you know, <laughs> nervous. But he spoke. Thanks, God. Amen. Amen. So, this is the type of education that we are talking about. From zero, now we got an hero among us. May God bless you. Amen. We are still moving now.
We are going to go to the youngest one. I'm not going to introduce her to you, but I used to call her young lady. So, she will stay wherever she is and come to tell us a bit about all the challenges the youngsters of her age are facing daily and how to come out of it. So, Brooklyn, the microphone is yours. <laughs> Now, we don't know what was all about. 
what did they talk about? But before we reach there, we are going to call our beloved Mama Rebecca, who's going to come on the stage and talk about the life of a couple. <laughs> We help create a stronger and 
and more than billion social classes. In conclusion, fathers, mothers, brothers and sisters, let us honor and preserve the essential role of the couple in our society by cultivating healthy, fulfilling relationships. We contribute not only to our individual happiness, but also to the construction of the world where love, respect, and mutual understanding are fundamental pillars. I thank you. société actuelle. L'impact des femmes ne se limite pas aux besoins familiaux, mais s'étend également de manière déterminante, déterminante à tous les aspects de, la, de notre vie sociale. Aujourd'hui, nous souhaitons mettre en lumière certains aspects essentiels de la contribution des femmes à notre société et à souligner la nécessité de créer un environnement propice à leur développement. Il est impératif que nous travaillions collectivement pour éliminer les épreuves qui empêchent le progrès de la femme dans la société. Cela inclut la lutte contre l'inégalité salariale, la promotion de l'accès à l'éducation et la création d'opportunités égales d'avancement professionnel. Nous devons nous devons également nous engager à enlever les banalités de genre qui peuvent entraver le plein épanouissement des femmes dans tous les domaines. Je vous remercie. Forget about me. I am no more in the DRC. I am in South Africa. From a South African point of view, would like Mama Aida to come and tell us what is the importance of the church within our society, being a woman. Mama Aida. Thank you. 
Puza Ampondwana. Uma Umzali e Puza Ampondwana. Pandwenda Niyaki. Inga Lumai Kula is a war of Chaita, which would be your own year to live one. Uma Shambe Uya Pema. So Chai, don't you put me up with your stagey motor. So Nati, Spanish Lagene, no Oscar Hile, Tifanenai, Nakua Umkresu. Is Ponelo Esile, Velapi, M. Sedentimieto, Naposamba Pona, Panelisle, Is Ponelo Esile, Ubatu, who was a Gama Chaita, who there is one way no more to offer high and letter eight in a few, no matter if I have a baby, I will go get later. Panelisla, get a Is so to a cooler food to look at the intima. Maniti, egg and in the two, egg alien, 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 when his lawyer would manage the
We are still under the revolution. Let all understand this beautiful language. Now, welcome. Let's get to the Thank you. 
Ebile nifu wa nisibaga Mwomu tu manga ba manga Haa fuma na mkoto Ya simoya Ene isi mpana mkoto ya simoya Mpana mkoto ya mwomu Kereme kiyo na eine ile Eile niya Kenya ni zomo Tujomu e E petanka mwomu Ya mwomu Kufitisani Sibo ni mwomu Mwomu Kolomu Lidi University Kolomu Zai kwe kisi zai ka kerele Kere kere zai ka kolo ya mwusho kwa kukiso tonu Ya di tebele tonu za si chikawa Zai ya zile zangu mafutana A shoka nma hai Li ba atibani li matata amu mungu Na mwana na mwusutu hafe kipe tenda kihe Bome bontate ba chaka kaka reto Hama kwa ni bontate mwona Kakupu Akele atamele nisi baka sake hiki Mwosi chame nisi na sako hona Akele kukwisa ni hante Akele shompa ni Akele yate nisi nisi Kia nebuha Banabesu Amen Kani roo Amen